Hey guys, what's up? If you don't know me, my name is Sarah, and you've stumbled upon the most amazing vlog ever. These last couple of weeks, I have found out something pretty big about me. I will do anything to make a person like me. So, instead of posting vlogs, I've been really trying to figure out myself and go on this journey. And I put that in quotations, because it's not really a journey, it's just more me sitting in my bed trying to figure out what's wrong with me and I've come to the conclusion that nothing's wrong with me it's just I go to extremes when a person doesn't like me I will do absolutely anything to make them like me I will change anything about myself and it's come to a point where I've realized that that's not who I want to be I don't want to please everybody I just want to please myself and I figured that people who watch my vlogs would probably want to know this. And maybe in some way I can shed a light on you guys. And if you have this issue as well, hopefully I can help. Step one for me was realizing that there are some great qualities about myself. Sure, I'm clumsy and I ask too many questions and I talk too much. But at the same time, I can be a really good listener, a really caring friend. I'm loyal. I love music. You can literally ask me anything about music and I could just answer it like that. And there's just so many more things about me. Life's a learning experience. It's okay. Step two for me was realizing that there are a lot of things that I love to do. Do things that make you happy. I enjoy walking. I love walking around my neighborhood. I'll walk to UDF. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd walk to Panera. I also really enjoy video games. I just recently got a Netflix. I do things that make me happy. Oh, not to mention my summer reading, which isn't that bad of a thing other than that terrible study guide that I haven't started. But those are things that I like to do. I like to do my summer reading on time. I like to walk around my neighborhood. I enjoy going to Bath and Body Works and trying on all the lotion and all the perfume and stay in there until my head hurts and I get really dizzy because Bath and Body Works is awesome. I love drinking water because I think it's healthy and even though I ate like a whole cake, I can drink that water and be like, oh wow, <laughs> I treated myself nicely. I think lastly for me to kind of help come to terms was figuring out whether or not I actually really did do something to hurt this person. And as it turns out, I really didn't do anything wrong. I was just being myself. And for all of you out there, sometimes just being yourself does aggravate people. Sometimes they're jealous and sometimes it's just they want to be mean. You can't control that. I can't control how other people view me. And although it sucks, because like I said, I'm not totally over it, but I understand now that there's nothing wrong with me and that I don't need to change myself, it's okay. Like. Knowing someone doesn't like me probably won't kill me. It might upset me for a little bit longer, but it won't kill me, and that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with being alive and having someone hate me. I'm perfectly happy when someone does like me. Can't win them all, can't lose them all. Well, I guess technically you could lose everything, but that's only if you really bet on a lot of stuff and end up losing. So, with that being said, I hope that in some way these three steps with some quick notes on them end up helping you guys like they're kind of helping me. And I say kind of because I keep saying it. I'm not completely over the fact that some people don't like me, but knowing that I have these three steps inside of me makes my day so much easier because now I know who I am and that I should be happy with that, who I am. If you have any more questions, you guys know where to find me on social media. Don't hesitate. So, if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you want to subscribe, which I know you do, click that red button. If you have a comment, comment down in the skirt. And as always, I will see you next Saturday. Dream on. Bye.